Hello everyone. I thought I'd make a uh, short video today showing what the inside of the uh, Bang Toys X16 GPS model looks like. Here's a, a few photos, you know, taken uh, from the inside when I had it apart. Um, it's uh, a few things different from the um, the Al2 Hold model and surely the first version too. So I'm going to go into a um, a video here that I made. Uh, when I had an issue. Yeah. A lot of people ask me uh, how can you tell um, if you have a GPS X16 because some of the uh, Chinese sellers um, try to pass off the altitude hold as the GPS one so um, if you get one you're not sure open it up and if it doesn't have the same parts inside it as mine does now then you do not get a GPS one because there's no markings on the outside or the, the on the transmitter or usually in the instruction booklet uh, indicating that's a GPS one. So like I said, just make sure you have the GPS unit in the top model right under the, you know, the faux antenna. And, um, and, and that'll confirm me even before you take it out and fly. And so now I'm going to go into a video I made for AliExpress to uh, prove that uh, I had an issue with my... Um, X16, a, a loose uh, wire to an ESC. Here is the video of my uh, my de defective um, Bion Toys X16. Um, when I uh, received it, I took it out for a test flight. It was a, a holiday gift, and um, it performed badly. It uh, had a terrible shake and vibrate, and would bounce on off the ground. So I uh, stopped it, uh, took it home, read the manual thoroughly, uh, tried to familiarize myself with everything, and then I took it out for the second test flight and did the, the same things. I kept it low to the ground, so as you can see, there's no damage to the quad at all. So um, off of a recommendation, I opened the thing up, and uh, to my surprise, I discovered a, um, a loose wire. Um, to one of the uh, engines. Um, here it is right here. As you can see, this, uh, this wire to this engine here is not connected. Uh, my hand gets in the way, but you can clearly see it unconnected. And um, that prevents it from, from flying properly. And uh, I paid for a, a quad that was supposed to be you know, fully in working order. Everything was supposed to be soldered tight, and I didn't receive that unit. And um, to fix this, I'm either going to have to go. I don't own a solder, soldering iron, or any solder, so I would have to go out purchase a soldering iron, and purchase solder and learn how to solder. So, um, or hire somebody to do it for me. Each way, that's going to be, you know, a considerable cost of money out of my pocket because I don't need a solder otherwise. So, um, I expect to be compensated um, for the purchase of the equipment to fix a quad that should have been, you know, uh, soldered correctly on, on purchase. And if we don't, if we can't rectify this situation at all, um, I pay through this with PayPal. I will contact PayPal and we'll let PayPal handle um, it from there on. So um, please, I know you need this video. I don't know why because a picture was just as good as a video, but here's the video. So I expect to hear back from you soon on how we're going to resolve this situation. All right. Thank you. Hi. So that was a short video I made that I sent in to. Um, uh, the Ali AliExpress, where I purchased the uh, Bang On Tools X16 from, and as you can see from the picture it's showing right now, one of the um, the connectors to one of the ESCs uh, wasn't soldered properly, and uh, came to me like that disconnected. So I filed a case with AliExpress. Um, the seller did not want to um, give me any money back at first, but then uh, when it, uh, you know, put a little pressure on through AliExpress. They wanted to um, ship me a new ESC to install, but um, I, I pressed on um, with AliExpress, and I actually wound up getting um, 
a $50 refund um, from uh, AliExpress, uh, you know, made the seller refund it to me. So um, I was really pleased with AliExpress customer service overall. So again, here's a, I'm getting ready to do the repair on the X16 solder, the ESC um, uh, connection back on here. So going over some of the inside parts. Um, as you can see, they actually put the um, GPS unit in top right underneath the uh, the faux um, GPS antenna on top. So I guess it really, you know, <laughs> it is more or less the GPS now, even though it's not inside that antenna.